Well, I don't, I mean, I in principle agree with everything. One of my friends actually raised something quite interesting and, you know, I, I completely agree that we ideally should have better working conditions for a lot of the migrant workers here and, you know, there's no excuse to say, well, look at Dubai, for instance, which I'm, sh I'm sure all of you are aware of has quite terrible working conditions. In fact, much worse is like modern day slavery. I digress. So point being that, is it better that we have these migrant workers being able to come here and get paid, even if we think it's a pittance, or to not have work at all? I, I mean, I know it's probably everyone here is getting ready to stone me or something, but personally, I just thought it was quite an interesting question. Uh, this is not a new issue. It's raised quite many forums. <coughs> it's raised in the newspaper. Um, and I somehow think that the way it's phrased seems to put you into a binary situation as either or. And I think the reality is rather more nuanced than that. Okay, Singapore needs foreign workers. Wherever we allow to work in this country, we should tell ourselves that they should be treated fairly and equally. And to me, that's the starting point. Uh, it could not be that uh, because we think in that country they, they work under a situation far more harsh than here. Therefore, we are allowed to mistreat them 50% rather than 100%. I don't think, I don't think human relationships should be worked out. Uh, as to whether or not those people should be given a choice of to have no work at all, basically we are dealing with a, a, very, a, a global economy that's increasingly becoming trans-border. And those questions can be asked here, can also be asked in, in those other countries like Bangladesh or India or China where they come from. Sure, if those countries, if they get the economy in place nicely, they would not need to export their workers. And I would leave those countries to sort out those issues themselves. But for whatever country that feels that they need to send their workers overseas to work, and for whatever country that feels that we need these foreign workers, there should be a basic human decency kind of law, which is that Come and work here, but I give you the full protection of my law, as I will protect my own citizens. Just one follow up, if you want. Yeah, just a bit. You said that the country sends their workers over, but I'm just. What about the freedom, like the choice of the worker? I mean, it, it seems like what you just said sort of omits the agency of the worker. I do not. Not at all, not at all. When I say the country sends the workers over, I'm not saying that over there there's a re regime that marched these workers onto a plane. No, uh, they're, they're driven here by whatever set of economic circumstances they deal with in their village or in their towns or in their family. They are poor, they need work. In those countries, they can't find the work that they need. Well, I pity them for that and I wish them well that they could solve the economic problems. So whatever it is that caused them to seek a living overseas, whether it's in Qatar, Dubai, or here, or Hong Kong. Uh, my role in it as a Singapore NGO is that uh, whoever comes here as a foreign worker, I see it as my mission to ensure that he gets fair treatment. And therefore, I take ownership of this problem here in Singapore. Frequently, yes, we are, we are find often bombarded with questions. You know, this is not a problem that's caused by Singapore. It's also caused over there by agents in those countries that are mistreating them. And my answer is sure. In the trans-border issue, NGOs, civil society, and civil government have a job to do. In those countries that are sending the workers to us, or where workers come from, uh, NGOs, civil society, and governments there also have a job to do. Um, and I would, I would say that uh, I, I'm counting on the civil society and NGOs in Bangladesh or India to take ownership of their problems and make sure that uh, their, their, their economy is run without corruption and they give their citizens a fair deal and also to make sure that their government also extend the right kind of protection to their workers when they are sent overseas. I don't see in this a conflict that I have with, with the other country as who is right and who is wrong. I see it as a situation where right-minded people on whichever side of the border should get together and work together to solve the problem. Thanks, Russell. Uh, I think Jonathan wanted to add something. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for your question because it's something which we hear a lot of and even the government ministries have this kind of attitude. If you read today's 
um, today paper, the, the letter was, which was written by the press sec to the law minister, she said that it was a privilege for foreigners to be here. It was a privilege for foreigners to be here. And let's face it, if all one million migrant workers in Singapore go on strike, this entire economy collapses. Yeah, so it's not a question of them, them, be, them it being a privilege for them to be here. We also need them. Yeah, so, I, so we need to be a bit more circumspect about this. And, and, I, and I also feel that when, we, when migrant workers are not exploited, when you provide adequate protections to them, it also helps local workers. And we need to realise that um, we should not have this false um, binary between migrant workers and local workers. Because one of the reasons local workers are displaced is because migrant workers are easy to exploit. Uh, it's easy to bully migrant workers, it's easier to, to make them work longer hours, it's easier to make them work for much lower pay. Yeah, so as a result of that, local workers' conditions don't improve. Yeah, so, so I think we need to, to, to look at this more, more holistically and, 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 and see that the, a lot of these problems are actually interconnected and that when we um, fight for migrant workers' rights, local workers will also um, benefit.